Good morning. As we start off the last week of July, we take a look back at the month. It has been a very hot and dry one. All of this red are days that have been at or warmer than 90 degrees. We've only had four days in the 80s this month, so the month is running about three degrees above normal, and we've only had just a shy of an inch of rain, barely have gotten to an inch in Springfield. Average to date would be over three inches, so we're running about two inches below average for rain. Uh, we're running, uh, we've got about two inches of rain in Joplin and Rolla. West Plains is the only spot that's gotten some more of those locally heavy downpours where you guys are actually above normal for rain. So it's been a dry month and it's been a dry summer. We started out the year so wet. The first six months of the year were the wettest on record. And then here comes June 1st, and now we've only gotten about 50% of our seasonal rain. We're only uh, sitting at about four inches of rain in Springfield when average to date since June 1st would be about eight inches. So we've been very dry this summer. Again, West Plains is the only spot that's hit our seasonal average for rain. So we've gotten some dry and moderately dry drought conditions developing because we've been so dry this summer. So the rain that we'll get this week will help this out. We need the rain. It's been uh, too dry out there. We've got some clouds in Springfield right now. It's 82 degrees, so it's warm. Dew points over 70, so it's humid. And we've got some of these showers again continuing to try to come in from the north and west with some showers there. It's partly to mostly cloudy otherwise. This front slowly arriving out there today and we'll stall. So we'll have some showers and storms likely through the afternoon. And what we'll also find is maybe some locally heavy rain. You see all of this orange here, those bright oranges show us that we have very high moisture contents in the atmosphere. So you're looking at some locally heavy rain that's just going to squeeze out of these storms as we head through this week. So hour by hour, looking at some scattered showers and storms this afternoon as that front continues to work its way in the area. Temperatures cooler than they were all weekend in the low to middle 80s. A couple of showers possible overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Then you'll have some scattered showers and storms get again by tomorrow afternoon with those temperatures in the low to middle 80s. Overall, the pattern is wetter and cooler. You'll have that stalled front bringing some hiccups with some rounds of showers and storms likely, and that could set up a threat for some heavy rain. We need the rain so the ground can take some, but if the rain keeps hitting the same spots, you'll have some some limited flooding. So front arrives today and stalls this week. Rounds of showers and storms through Friday. No severe weather, but heavy rain is possible with some two to four inches of rain possible through the week and some localized flooding concerns. You can see the storm chances stay healthy through Friday, start to dry out a little bit more by the weekend. We'll have some clouds and rain, so that will keep those temperatures below average for a change with highs in the low to middle 80s. 85 degrees today, mostly cloudy with some scattered showers and storms possible. 69 degrees overnight tonight, a few showers. We'll continue with that storm threat tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies with some rounds of showers and storms. We keep that same storm threat through Friday. Again, temperatures below average in the low to middle 80s. Looks like we dry out by the weekend.